Hello, I'm Melissa Castellanos with Halo Creative Designs. In this video, I'm going to show you how to decorate a painted dog paw rail form. First, you're going to take a 9 foot evergreen garland and measure out a section to fit the width of the frame. Then you're going to fluff it out, just make sure all of the branches are facing up. And then about a third of the way in on each side, you're going to attach it to that center bar on the rail. I'm using 24 gauge floral wire, but you can use um, pipe cleaners or zip ties, whatever you have on hand will work just fine. Once you have tied it off, clip the excess ends and then fold them down onto themselves and push them down into the middle of the garland. That way there are no pokey edges um, pointing up. Next, we're gonna take 21 inch black metallic deco mesh and gather the end. Then we're going to secure it to the frame by using two of the ties on the frame, or branches rather. And we're going to form 10 inch poofs. So as you can see, I'm measuring out on my measuring mat. I can see through them, you know, to see where I'm measuring. Measure out a 10 inch poof, and then I secure it using the evergreen ties. We're going to do five poofs evenly spread across this piece of evergreen. When you get to your last poof, go ahead and measure out your 10 inches and then cut it from your roll of mesh and secure the end to the frame using the evergreen ties. Next, we're gonna use two different types of 10 inch mesh, a red and a white basket weave. Red is cut at 20 inches, white is cut at 12 inches. Curl the white and place it into the evergreen ties first and then Put your edges together on the red, lay it on your mat, and ruffle down the center. Place it on top of the white curls. We'll do the four pieces of red between each poof that you made of the black. And then the two extra pieces of white will flank each end of the rail form. Next, we're going to make the bow. We're going to take two one and a half inch ribbon and place them together. We're going to start with a 14 inch.
trees and pine cones and glue them in randomly um, where you see places that really need something. Um, there is no exact placement. What I typically do is what I call a dry run. Before I hot glue anything, I place it in the design to make sure I like it. And once I'm happy, then I'll go back and put hot glue on the pieces and stick them in. You can add just a few or you can add a lot. It's really personal preference as to how much embellishing you like to do on your pieces. So this is our completed design. Click the box to your left to watch more of our videos. Click our logo below me to subscribe to our channel. And if you look below the video screen and click that bell icon, you'll get notified when we post new content. Thanks for watching.